Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGGM007, and today we're looking at the Blue Map plugin. This is a really fantastic plugin which allows you to generate a 3D map of your Minecraft worlds in a browser. So it's kind of similar to DynMap, but this one is super easy to set up and just fantastic. So you can see we're on the Spigot page, it's updated from 1.12 to 1.16, it's obviously free to download. And up at the top here we have a demo that we can look at that the developer has made. So if we open this up and it will take us to a brand new page, you can see it has loaded a random Minecraft world that the developer has obviously made and set up. And what we can do, we can zoom in and out and while it loads, we can zoom in a little bit more. And once we've zoomed in this close, we can go up here, click the person icon. And this is going to bring us into first person mode where we can actually look around as if we were playing on the server itself. And then there's some other buttons here which goes into flat view and that is just a top down view and there's kind of a sideways diagonal view as well. Up at the top left we can have a look at a few different things. So you can look at different maps, so different worlds, you can set markers, you can go full screen, you can reset the camera, you can update the map. And then if we click here you can have a look at all the different worlds that exist. So we can just go into Serena for example and then here we can check out all the different markers, so there's different POIs um, and they're going to show different areas but uh, this one isn't loaded for me at the moment. And here we are on Minecraft, so you can see I am just in a brand new world, you can see I'm flying about, this is what it looks like and I have already downloaded and set up the plugin for my server, so let's go on to the website and see what it looks like. And here we are, so you can see that it has barely loaded, it does take quite a while especially when you first set it up. Um, so we've got a few chunks loaded here where I am, you can see here is the island that I was at. And if we zoom in we can obviously go into first person mode, you can see the trees that I was next to. Um, we can go into the other mode, we can turn off night mode, that'll make it look a bit nicer. And that is how the plugin will work. As I mentioned you can come over here and set a few settings up. Uh, so if you click maps you can choose which one you want to go to, I haven't been to the end yet so that won't load. Um, and obviously you can reset the camera if you want to. Ah, there we go, it's starting to load. Fantastic. So that is what the plugin is. That's kind of a uh, quick look into what you're getting with this plugin. Uh, but let's show you how to set it up now. So once you've downloaded your plugin, you want to obviously start your server. And then we want to go into the blue map folder. Once we're in here, there's a few different files. The first one we want to go into is the core config. All we need to do in here is go to the top and where it says accept download, you need to set this as true. This means you accept Mojang's EULA and you actually own Minecraft. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and save it. And then what we're going to do is come back and go to the web server config. So once we're in here, we need to go down to the IP section. And then you can see there are these pound signs. Now, if you know anything about config files or coding, if they see a pound sign, it's not going to read the line. So go ahead and remove that next to the IP line with the numbers. And then all you need to do is replace these numbers with your actual IP address. Now mine is obviously videotutorials.serverminer.com, but for yours it might be a string of numbers or it might be um, a few different words like this. And then down here we've got the port 8100, that's important, remember that for later, and then we can go ahead and save it. So once we've done that we can obviously restart our server and then jump back on. So we're on Google, how do we get to our map? Go to the top URL, paste in your server IP address, put a colon, and then put the port which is 8100. Hit enter and that is going to take you to the website. Now if we have a look it may be black for you. Mine is loading in because I've obviously already done it but if this is your first time it may be black and there's a couple of things that you can do to make it load. The first thing we need to do is go back in game. So now that we're back in game if we want it to load on the website we need to forward slash blue map render and then the world name. Now what that is going to do is start the render process and then doing forward slash blue map is going to show you the progress. So if we have a look at this it has currently rendered 36 tiles which is only 2% um, in 12 seconds so it's going to take about 10 minutes it says apparently and that is one of the methods we can use to help it load and as you can see it's loaded a little bit more since and then if we go to the top left and click the drop down menu down at the bottom we've got the update map button make sure you click that as well and that is going to speed up the map loading as well so make sure you do those two things and then you should be good to go to check out your world 
So that is the plugin. I hope you enjoyed this showcase. It's a really cool plugin. I highly recommend it. If you have any troubles, contact the author. You can head over to Spigger and uh, see if they can help you or head over to their Discord server as well. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.